Okay, so you guys are here basically to find out how to update your FL Studio wrapper. If you don't know what the wrapper is and you just stumbled across this, it's the host to all your VSTs. And within this file, uh, a bridging option, which allows you to host 32-bit uh, VSTs within the uh, w Windows 7 64-bit and Windows Vista 64-bit. So in this case, this FL Studio I've completely deleted the wrapper out of. And you can see here that if I go and try to add hypersonic, it's going to give you nothing, right? I don't have the bridge. I don't have the bridge installed on this. I don't have the wrapper installed. So I'm just going to quickly show you what this is doing. Now, on a side note, if you already have wrapper and bridging installed, that's fine. This will just update what you have there already. So we shall begin. First, what you need to do is you need to download a file. Go to this website, download this file. I'm just going to leave this up for a second. You guys copy it down. You've downloaded the file. That's good. I've downloaded it somewhere that I can locate. Right click on it and extract the directory. Now you might use a different program to extract with such as WinZip that comes with Windows. If you need a program to extract this, it's called WinRAR. Anyways, uh, once you've extracted it, there's our file folder. Go there. And basically just go to the point where you can see plugins and system. Once you have located that spot, plugins and system, then what you're going to want to do here is go over to your C drive and find your fruity installation location. And it's going to be under image line. FL Studio 9. This is the place where we want to be, right where the executables are. Highlight. Copy. Paste. When you paste or drag it over, make sure you check off. Do this for all current items. You click yes. Now basically just go ahead and open your FL Studio. Go ahead and open your uh, hypersonic. And there it is. And now we're going to go check out the version. You can see it's 234, which I do believe is the latest version. And if we go over to the processing tab, let's see if bridging mode works. Bridging mode works. There we go. We're good. So as you can see, bridging mode works, and it's actually there. And it's version 234, so you can see that's updated from your previous version. Anyways, that's all, folks. I hope you guys uh, you know, have a good one and, and uh, continue making music. Enjoy.